Right. That's what I'm talking you about. You're moving a little slow today. My poly- I, I I'm didn't. waiting on you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take you to the edge. <laughs> and I keep you grounded. Yes. Here. Just Damien here. All right. We're crystal with Crystal Lynn. Yeah, what's going on, Crystal? I'm doing good. We have somebody else in the studio with yes, us today. Yes, we do. We We're not even our, going to acknowledge her, but we'll just let her we sit We have down. our <laughs> special <laughs> guest in the hot seat, habitué, Miss Johnette Gore. All right. Anointed Realty. Y'all give it up for Johnette Gore. <laughs> you got to do. You got to get one of those clap signals. Clap. I actually do have it. You got to get it together, then. I need you to be able to multitask. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> As you can see, who's the real boss around here? I just answer to her. I'm glad you know. Diva. Um, on today's show. <laughs> no? Don't go in? Okay. But before we get things started, I, I just want to say congratulations to Crystal Lynn. She was on a, um, what, three three different radio stations last week? It was only two. Seven radio stations last week promoting <laughs> her um, Masterminds class. Yes, which jumped yesterday. off yesterday. Yeah. First of six sessions. And uh, just between yesterday and today, I've gotten a couple additional calls. So trying to line up what's next. And I'm debating. So everyone's like, when's the next session? And I said, July. And then I started thinking, am I going to have a summer break? Mm. Is that is that really is that really petty of me that I'm sitting here like, well, maybe it may be August. There's no need. No. uh, I think I'm I'm still debating. I'm going to need to pray on it a little longer. I mean, it's better if we just stay on the grind. It sounds good. Mm-hmm. However, comma, do you know me? What I'm saying is, I need if we, naps. I'm saying if we put in the breaks. work right naps now, I, <laughs> if we put in the work now, then come wintertime, we can go play someplace where it's hot. Oh, that was going to happen regardless. <laughs> wow. Especially in December. Right? Yes, December. Yes. December is completely <laughs> off. It starts December first. I go on strike to the new year, <laughs> like the second week of New Year. I take a real break. Man, you know what? So. Last week we and I actually, I actually want to keep this going. Uh, what's good? We we're talking about what's good because one of the things that if you ever follow the show uh, in the beginning we started off with news. Mm-hmm. The news is very depressing, <laughs> and even though you know it's it's stuff that's actually taking place and everything, we want to make sure that we focus on the positive as well. Because if you're constantly drowning out individuals with what's not taking place, then Hope is gone. Mm. So starting off with what's good, you can give us a call at 219-845-1100 and share what's good going on in your world. Maybe it was just your kid went to the prom over the weekend. You got somebody graduated this weekend. A lot of schools had graduations this past weekend. Proms. Mm. Proms. Also, uh, some babies were born. Whoa. Wow. Really? Some, okay. some, Look, that's, that's not up our alley. I said born. Sorry. I said born, not made. <laughs> Whoa. There were, uh, what else? Some good relationships came to an end. That's what I, I love to good celebrate. Good relationships good. came I to love, an end. I love a good breakup. I love a good breakup. That's I don't good. really know how that's to take good. that. But that, that goes into, you know, like I'm, I'm, I, I'm a firm believer in being unmotivated. So hmm. You do a, such a great job. A good breakup is needed in life. I love that. Interesting. Great yeah, job. So, but no, what's Keep good? Going. We'll start around the table. What's, what's good? Mm. Only thing that's good with me is what we just talked about. The masterminds are jumping off. Uh, actually, the um, Legacy Foundation is doing a competition of six different groups tomorrow. And uh, You're a finalist? I, I actually am a finalist. That's what's oh, up. Praying that's for good. other doors to be open. So... We'll see. I, I'm excited that there are just those opportunities out there uh, for people to pitch different ideas and have the opportunity to be funded for these ideas to you know, promote growth and entrepreneurship in our area. There's another one, too, that uh, the application process is still open until the 19th. It's called like Invent Her, and it's a partnership between uh, a women's organization out in Valparaiso, uh, partnered with the SBA okay, and they have a local as well as a national competition. So whoever uh, wins first in the, in the local level will be pushed to the national level. And that's up to I believe $40,000 uh, in, in prizes. So for any women entrepreneurs out there, uh, you probably want to do some research, dive into that. The application process, I believe is open until the 18th or 19th. And uh, uh, put your name in the hat. That's, I mean, that's how you start. You got to be able to be present in front of these people and 
have your name in the forefront and have your business in order and come on over to the masterminds for <laughs> us to help you there. <laughs> no, <laughs> shameless plug. Janet, what's good? You know what's good. Thank you. All right. Oh so moving on. Goodness. No, I'm joking. No, I'm good. <laughs> what's good? Actually, what's good for me today was just I spent some really good quality time with my grandson and daughter, just hanging out at the beach this morning. Isn't it a beautiful day? It was so beautiful out this morning. So that's what's good for me, that quality time. That's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Quality time with family. Yes. I'm going to get my my. Got to have your priorities in order. Actually, you do. Uh, Have to. Let's jump into the Dear Crystal letter. Already? Pressure. Did he give his what's good? I never give him I was good. Wow. He ain't got nothing good. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's still working on no, it. No, life is good. Life is always Isn't good. Isn't that the answer for everything he says? Mm-hmm. The fact, no, the fact that we're here, it's good. We're breathing. That's well, good. This, is, this side of the dirt. <laughs> That's that old people response. Yeah, she's going to go in. It's okay. It's okay. One day you might want to make it here. How about that? At one day. How about I'm that? Good. Right. Whatever the case. Are you ready for this letter? Why, yes, I am. Oh, okay. Dear Crystal. <laughs> Is that how it starts? No. Dear Crystal, I am having to part ways with someone I've known for 15 years. Mm. This person has done many good things for me. On the other hand, he has also thrown more insults at me than anyone else in my lifetime. At the snap of a finger, this normally good-hearted person has insulted me insisted that I was wrong when I wasn't or dumped cold water or something I was enthusiastic about. I guess that's a metaphor. She must have said dump cold water (laughs) on something she was enthusiastic about. Yes, there you go. Okay, all right. I just, I wasn't ready for that. A week ago, I approached him calmly and told him I was uncomfortable with his put downs. Well, he threw an all over the top temper tantrum uh, like the like one I've never seen before, accused me of being weak need and stomped away. Mm. I have finally had it. Uh, I am convinced this person will never change, and I cannot understand the pettiness he reverts to. Mm. Can you comment? Mm-hmm. I love petty. Mm. We stay in the petty pool. <laughs> yes. It's a little shallow pool. You just splash around. It's just so fun. <laughs> but it's the, it's like the splash around that has a lot of chlorine in it. So if you splash too much and it gets in your eye, yeah. it burns. yes, it burns. So you got to be you got to close your eyes and just splash and hope somebody else's eye gets burned. No. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I want to point out is you did say that this individual has been your friend for 15 years. And the first thing I think of is the friends that I've had for 15 years. I think there's only like one. Mainly because as you grow and you evolve, your circles should change. They should evolve with you. And sometimes we keep these quote unquote friendships as titles uh, just because we've known someone or have forced ourselves to stay connected beyond what's healthy for us. I when I read this letter, the first thing I think of is an individual that every time they come into town, they call me and I almost dread it. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I feel obligated to see this person because you haven't necessarily done anything wrong to me. But every time I sit in this person's presence, I realize how much I've grown. Mm -hmm. So I think because you are so attached to this person, you need to just put them in the second or third t- tier of a friendship, meaning you don't have to separate yourself. Some people say, oh, you just need to separate yourself altogether. I think that will come naturally if you give yourself the distance that you need in this uh, relationship. But at the same time, having a different uh, focus on who matters as far as who affects your mood. Uh, because it looks like this person is tied to you very strongly that they say something bad or negative, you're crushed. I have so many quote unquote friends and really associates that are in the second or third tier. I don't care what you really say at this point because you're not in my immediate circle. You just think you are. You're kind of rippled out a little bit. I'm just going to be honest. You're like, oh, okay. I've had somebody who I've known for, I guess it's been about 20 years, um, talk about some of my motivational videos yeah I think you should be doing this yeah but guess what I'm just gonna say "Mm -hmm, thank you and move on because this person again is not 
relevant. Mm. So don't give this person power over how you feel. Put this person in their place, their proper place, which is a little more distant from you. And and navigate your friendships in the future towards and gravitate towards people that are going to give you positive feedback uh, who will help you um, see the light uh, on things rather than shedding, you know, shame and hate and hurt on you. Don't have a whole bunch of yes men either. You need a balance. Keep the haters. <laughs> Keep it kind of balanced so you can kind of, you know, you don't get too high, but you don't, you know, feel too low. You just need that balance, the teeter-totter. No. Okay, that's was, all I have. It was interesting. Uh, me personally, I think you fire back at Petty with Petty. That is you. <laughs> you want to see how petty people can go. Go ahead and test it with Damien. No, I mean, <laughs> I think it was Michelle Obama that says when they go low. All right, uh, we're tired we of that. Hide. We're tired of that saying. When I <laughs> no, saw no, it, no. when I saw it come up on Empire, I was done. No, wow. I said, you know what? I'm saying when they go low. You go lower. You cut their knees. How low <laughs> can you go? Yes. That's, that's what I say. You, you cut them so deep that they will not want to ever get up again. Like, <laughs> They'll remember it, who it you works. are. It works. Gosh. Trust me. Dang uh, see, I'm a firm believer in if a relationship falls off, it was never mine to have anyway. So, mm. circle of life, Akuna Matata. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. No? I mean, that's what it is. Johnny, life what do you is, think? Life is short. I honestly, um, there's a difference between pettiness and uh, putting someone down. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Pettiness is that fun. You, I can go there with you and it, it doesn't hurt or crush you. But when you're saying this person is putting, you know, throwing ice on the situation and, you know, that's kind of. I'd also say as far as uh, there's a difference between constructive criticism, too. Definitely. So just being able to know because sometimes we we instantly be get, we get defensive. Mm -hmm when it's really for our own good. If somebody's telling you the truth, that right. may be the one friend just because they told you the raw truth. Stop, don't get style. too sensitive. You yeah, gotta have that problem. Well, look, look at those individuals that actually, um, that we call them dream killers. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. individuals that tear you down. Look at them in the place of where they're not happy. Mm -hmm. You know, so you automatically know those individuals in your life. You can identify those people when I'm, when I'm talking about it right now. You can think, okay, mm -hmm. that's this person, that's this person. Those are the individuals that you can't allow to get in for the reason that they're the ones where they'll, you know, pop that Nick bubble. Pick, yeah. And, you know, we've had conversations about this before in the past where they're even with family. They're family members I can't share with. Well, some of them just don't understand, too. I think it's a generation difference. If they were if they had that mindset of doing things a certain way and they've never seen it done the way that you're doing it. Right. Uh, they speak against it and not necessarily to hurt sometimes. You know, I, I have um, individuals that I know of that. You're just speaking out of ignorance. You can't speak on entrepreneurship if you've never been an entrepreneur. Right. Definitely. And someone who's done the traditional route their whole life, There's definitely they definitely have a whole lot Big to say difference. about <laughs> where education goes, where you should clock in, yeah. where you need to be looking for jobs. What, what, what size shoe do you wear? Is this what? What size shoe do you wear? It depends on the day. Okay. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. I wear 13. So sometimes when we talk to people, what they'll do is they'll put your shoes on and they, they try and walk around like they're in your situation. Mm. And, and it won't fit. Mm -hmm. Even if you wear the same size, because I've no. had somebody try yeah. to stretch out my mm. shoes. <laughs> you ever had that? I, this is a girl thing. You're like, here, let me see your shoes. No, I've seen you walk in your shoes. Wow. You're not going to walk. What? Nothing, I've seriously nothing. denied people from borrowing my shoes because I've seen how you have walked in yours. You don't care. I don't let people use my shoes just because. You're a guy. It's a little different. No, I just, just want to have people's germs in my feet. In my mm. shoes. Okay. But if someone wants to write Crystal. <laughs> There's want, a form. They, you they should go. they want to go. get Crystal Clear. You have to get, get a crystal, crystal clear message. You should go to the iRaiseMovement.com, and there's a form there to um, for iRaise Radio. I apologize. I had a, okay. I, I blacked out Go there. to iRaise Radio, <laughs> the iRaise Radio page? No, the tab okay. under the iRaise Movement. Do you see how I, I said that? Yeah. The iRaiseMovement.com, and you can go to iRaise Radio, and the form is there. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting scolded today, I see. <laughs> I just, look, yesterday, I think it was yesterday. I think it's just some, some leftover. It was a lot. It was. 
because I, I felt like I had to reel you in like 12 times <laughs> yesterday. Really? Oh, I, my I did goodness. Good. What? Really? Yeah, I've been doing better. Do you see our reaction? Wow. So I, I want to say this. Uh, over the weekend, my <laughs> sister did a uh, program at church, and it was these jars, motivation jars. I gave you and your daughter one. And it's supposed to be a situation of where you – we had to sit around in a room and write out just inspiration, words of inspiration. It could be scripture, whatever the case may be, and give it to somebody that you felt needed that. And, uh, of course, my sister, she says, I've got one for Damien. And she writes it out and then has her kid bring it to me. And I open it up, and it says, don't use bad language. I was like, wow. That's the motivation? I guess for somebody, it wasn't for me because uh, I was like, if you don't get this garbage out of here, of course, there was some expletive deleted words that oh, I cannot say mm, here on and, the but air. But you, you said it in the church. God knows my heart. Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. Okay. So now it's time for uh, uh, just Damien's moment of unmotivation. And um, my, my moment of unmotivation today, I'm, I'm digging deep within self Uh-oh. because I want to motivate those that are on the fence about losing weight. Be quiet, Crystal. You coming for me today? <laughs> Y'all better turn these cameras off. I want to just say this. Broadcast is getting ready to get real. Talk about radio get real. Really? It He's is. Make it, it is May. Okay? Now, I want you to think about this. It is May. Summer starts in June. Not technically. <laughs> Your struggle is in vain. Yesterday was chocolate chip cookie day. And I didn't even know celebrate that. today. <laughs> there are too many people hurting themselves with all these quick, you know, lose weight fast gimmicks and they drinking vinegar and, and lemon juice, and all this crazy stuff. Live to eat. I'm saying live, live to, to eat. eat. Live. <laughs> live to I, eat. I had to ask her what? No, no. The, the saying actually goes eat to live and live to eat and, and not live to eat. But I'm saying live to eat. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. You only got one life. So you want them to be fat. There are only so many buffets left in the area. Mm. And I'm saying <laughs> enjoy them all. You know, uh, I have I, such a I, petty comment. I'm right, trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Would you go to a buffet? It. Would I go to a buffet? He yeah. said he won't go to the buffet. Good Lord, no. <laughs> Buffets are gross. They're disgusting. <laughs> but I'm talking to the people that, you know, they're struggling. They're on the fence. Like, should I, you know, I hate hearing the term summer body. Mm. And, and, like, you got to pick a summer. That's the first thing. <laughs> Identify what summer body, what summer you want your body to be revealed in. That's that's number one, and then two, just just enjoy life, because you do all this weight loss stuff, and you can get hit by, by a bus like today. Go out with a smile on your face. So I, that's that's you know. Oh goodness. Like Crystal, you Crystal, know. I, I you know you Crystal is one me? of these people where she's <laughs> always talking me? about you know do what you can, lose weight, blah you blah ready blah. For me? And my thing is just take just just live life, enjoy. Okay, you ready? Yes. You ready for me? All right. Um, I would say get the support that you need to do what you want to do and have the body that you want to have. Because I think it's I think it's about the support. We well, talk about this with business, but it's the same with. See, here's the problem. I love you, problem? Damien. I really do. Mm -hmm. However, comma, it seems like you've always been in the skinny boat. You have never seen <laughs> no, mid actually, to large size, actually, extra large. Where? I, what? I, I, I was in a, your head? No, I was a chunky baby. <laughs> what? A, a chunky me? baby before you started walking. Okay, hey, hey. let me talk about the real struggle. I walked that okay. weight off. Okay, no, because I will let I've, you go. I've, I've been the driver of this struggle bus. I've been a passenger. I've been a frequent flyer. That's what I'm flyer. saying. Give up the struggle. Just embrace it. It's, no, there's no. dusties. No, Stop there's it. golden corral. So I want to shout out uh, one of my uh, girlfriends who's starting a weight loss uh, competition in this area. Uh, you need to be following Kiki uh, John A. Her okay, you uh, have to spell it. Her look up Keyed <laughs> to Fit. Keyed to Fit. So if you're in the region, there's this great competition, uh, a total of five hundred dollars in prizes. Mm. Uh, so you want, and that starts June first. So or registration closes June first. So make sure that you look up Keyed to Fit. And I will post that um, on our Facebook page for people who are interested because it's about the support. I'm serious. It's about having that community of girlfriends, friends. That's when I lost the most amount of weight is when you're looking to your left. I don't mean to sound like that. It's, it's, it's positive. Say it's one more time. 
It's it's <laughs> positive competition. Okay. You know, it, it has friends in it. You know what I mean? Like at the same time, you're keeping yourself motivated. But at the same time, you look to your left and you're like, hold on. This one right here is not getting ready to pass me up. Let me do a couple more crunches. Let me do. One. And that's, that's why I'm saying simply give up the ghost. Because if you're at the buffet and you look to the left and there's somebody over there smashing some ice cream to the right, somebody's over there smashing the steak, smothered the potatoes and gravy. You're, that's support. You, you want to hear the petty that's side support. of me? That's support. Well, it's, it's a petty side of me. You want to hear it? <laughs> go for it. <laughs> go to the gym. And if you want to know which one to go to that's really going to motivate you, go to Planet Fitness. For the Pizza Fridays or whatever it is? It's a non-judgment zone. <laughs> However, the, that, comma, Then do that. If you stand in the back row of the treadmills and you watch the person in front of you, and you just remember, you don't want to get there. <laughs> just think you're passing them. That's okay. what you have to do. So then a happy medium, go to Planet Fitness, back row, and then to have some head. pizza on the treadmill <laughs> with you. <laughs> that's, you only, that's only the first Mondays, and I've never been there <laughs> Take your favorite pizza snack. Monday. I say take your favorite snack. Walk in. See, it's all about balance. So you, while you're walking, you're getting your eat on. You're doing it. You're yeah, doing cause you, it. Yeah, because you, you do have to eat consistently through the day so that your body won't um, store the fat. Yeah. That's that's a true statement. And I, I don't you know. you Just don't. You're supposed, don't. To eat small, you're supposed to eat small <laughs> meals throughout the day yep. compared to eating larger meals because your body's able to digest you're it. You're only allowed constant. to have 10 Oreo cookies in a setting. One setting. Uh, Okay, All right, so that was, that was Just Damien's unmotivational <laughs> moment. Don't forget, you can follow me on Just Damien 76 on Instagram and Just Damien on Facebook. So oh, gosh. it's time to get into the effing truth. Mm. Oh, Ooh, tell me the truth. Tell me the yes. truth. Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell the audience something. <laughs> no one told the truth as it relates to this question okay. we did so many we did so many searches for statistics and they don't exist so go ahead and let them know what the question All right, is so today we're talking about travel group travel to travel or not to travel we want to know what is your worst you can, and if you got something good you can share that too but what is your worst group travel experience and crystal's got a couple i've I mean, got, I got one a whole bunch um <laughs> actually when i thought about it i had a couple more you know, and you know what was so crazy? The one you would think the most recent one was not the first one that came to my head. So it gets worse. <laughs> okay, it gets worse. So you can actually give us a call two one nine eight four five eleven hundred with that if you want to be on the air with us, or you can actually share with us on Facebook Live and um, just post it in your comments. Um, don't forget comment, like, share, comment, like, and share. Crystal, you want to kick it off with your story? <sighs> Which one? Yes. Let's go with let's go with your worst. You, you want to go? With, let me go with the older one. Let me okay. See. So, I've gone to Miami three times. Okay. Two of which should not have happened. And what I mean by that is, um, I realized you can't travel with just anybody. That's mm. true. Yes. I went with one individual the first time I went to Miami. I was really young. It was, I think it was my first spring break. Maybe it was my second. And so, you know, you're just excited. Miami, woo, we're going to Miami. We didn't do any research. Obviously, we just said <laughs> Miami Beach. You do not know how big Miami yeah. Beach is when you Google this, right? You see a deal. We locked in the deal. We get to the hotel. The hotel was 45 minutes from the beach. Oh, wow. So, Ooh, about a pork and bean project, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it ended up being a good time just because the person I went with understood we were on the same page. We have to make the most out of this trip. So, we left every morning with a book bag full of clothes. We spent the entire day on the beach. We found some friends. <laughs> and showered and then switched clothes to our evening clothes and did not go back to the room till it was time to go to sleep. So we had long, long, we took a nap on the beach too. You got to get your nap in because you don't want to be too tired. <laughs> but that was an interesting, uh, that was an interesting trip. I, I, I am still in contact with some of the friends. Okay. So my, my horrible experience <laughs> was I uh, got a call from a cousin and we're taking a group trip down to the Smoky Mountains in East Tennessee. 
and he was like, hey, yo, we got a big group of people. We're going to go down to the Smokies and we're going to do it big, have a good time and everything. I said, all right, cool. I paid my money. So I was like one of the first people to pay my money. Well, by the time it was closer to the time for us to go, the group was supposed to be like 16 people, but it dwindled down to 10 because people had argued, fell out and everything. Uh, some of the females that were on the trip, they, they were actually related and fell out. So I end up going with one, two, three people that I actually knew of the 10. And it it got uglier over the weekend. So when we got down there, if you've ever been to the cabins, the way it's set up is normally what we do is we'll go into town that first day, go grocery shopping. And then you go back and, you know, you figure out who's going to cook what meals and everything like that. Um, well, the we met up in Indianapolis. We end up leaving out before the rest of the group. We got there like 45 minutes before them. The rest of the group got there. They went to a restaurant and ate, a sit-down restaurant and ate and for like an hour. So we're already out, an hour and 45 minutes now just mm -hmm. sitting. One of the girls that was with us had to use a bathroom. And it wasn't one of those, like, I got a regular go to the bathroom. Aww. It was like she needed some time. Um, so that was the start of the trip. Well, on the way back, um, me and one of the girls had a conversation about, you know, raising kids and everything. You know, I'm a father of three. She's a mother of none, but she has a dog. Mm -hmm. So she equated having a dog to raising kids, and it turned into this ugly argument. And long story short, we end up riding in silence from Tennessee all the way back to northwest Indiana. Mm -hmm. It was like an eight-hour ride. I've done that before with somebody. Got into it with somebody on a very long trip and that didn't is, say anything. Wow. That is horrible. Yeah. But like when we got together as a group, we didn't agree on life. And, and that's one thing that's mm -hmm. really important as far yeah. as having someone. And you know what? Your travel friends are not your best friends necessarily either, nope. which, you, which you have in common here. Uh, my view once I'm in a different city is completely different. Um, here, I'm more relaxed. I like to chill, mm -hmm. be at home compared to when I'm traveling. I need to see something that I can't see at home. Right. You know, I don't want to sit still. I want to be able to experience the culture, the environment, et cetera. Exactly. So yeah. if those people don't have those same. Well, I mean, even when it comes down to what your relaxed, what your downtime looks like, mm -hmm. you have those individuals where they like to watch movies. Now, we got to even at least be on the same accord when it comes to movies. It wasn't any of that. No mm -hmm. co cohesive, cohesiveness at all. Then they were smokers. Mm. I'm a non-smoker, so I spent a lot of time in my room. So, yeah, it was... Sounds like a great trip. It was horrible. <laughs> uh, actually, I use that as a point of reference to still cuss some of them out to this day when we cross paths. Like, no, 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 don't even speak. I remember. <laughs> I don't. I, there's nothing for us to talk about. Let's bring Johnette into the conversation. Johnette Gore, anointed realty and, and um, what is it, blessed assurance. Want more travel. Want more travel. Okay. I just made up a name. Just, okay. Wow. Want more travel. It's okay. What, what's been a bad experience for you? I cannot. There's really hasn't been anything that's been bad. Um, I had a bus trip. Uh, went on a bus trip with my mom. On was, purpose? Yeah. And I'll never do a bus yeah. trip again. So it was from Indianapolis going down to Florida. Ooh. On purpose? Yeah. So we actually went from Indianapolis to um, Florida to catch uh, a cruise. We did a cruise in Miami. Came back. We on Megabus? I don't even remember. Don't do that. That's how, <laughs> that's, that's how much I have blocked it out. It doesn't matter. Out. Any I, bus is horrible. I blocked it out. A um, mega bus. When we got back from the cruise, we uh, stopped in Atlanta, saw the sights in Atlanta, and rode back. That's all I remember from the trip. I totally blocked. The only reason why I knocked out. mega bus is just because I remember a friend of mine was catching a, a, a bus trip down to Memphis, and she got the trip like round trip for eighteen dollars. That's the first sign that something was wrong. <laughs> the second sign was the bus station is here. Mega bus picked up a block away. Oh yeah, that's on how the they street. Are. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Yes. And how we found them was because it was just like random people standing out on the street corner, and we're like, <laughs> "Excuse me, where, we're like, where's the mega bus site at? There's this drop site." They're like, "Oh, it's right here." 
I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, where, where are the, it's on where, the side of the street? <laughs> yes. I was like, where, where are the ticket people? Who where? Are they? No, like, you got to buy it. They were like, to prepay. They were like, it, she over there. It was this lady. She just had on a random t shirt. <laughs> it was no uniform. Was she the bus driver? No, no, it's oh, just okay. a random person. So the bus pulls up, <laughs> and just to let you know which type of experience you, you're going to get when you get on Mega Bus, they pull up, they you, stop. You've done the Mega Bus. I, I could not do it. They, they got on, <laughs> they put the stuff on. Like the bus driver, he looked handy capable, you know, where it's like more people were putting their own luggage on. And they were tipping him because he was handicapped. And as they got on, <laughs> somebody said, ooh, they got a movie on this. And it was like Medea's family reunion or something like that. So that's just to give you an idea of the experience of Mega Bus. Hey, wow. I, if, I digress. If you want, if you want to ride for $18, you go right in. You do what you hey, got to do. That's, that's, that's too much like, yeah, I know somebody that's going down south. Uh, they said <laughs> if you give them $15, you can ride. That, that no. I, I don't want that type of experience. <laughs> Johnette, so you, you want to share some uh, of what you do with uh, Gimme Mo Travel? What was the name? Oh, no. oh, wait, wait, wait. We had to get into our... Oh, yeah. oh our, I'm sorry. She's got to give us the F in F and truth. The F. All right. So, again, we couldn't find any statistics. So uh, we came up a, with a list. With true statistics. A <laughs> list of what you should caution yourself with when you're doing group trips. Uh, okay. Knowing your audience, as, as I said before, uh, do you all want to do the same activities? Think of things like, do you all club? What type of club experiences do you all enjoy? Uh, do you all like full day tours? Mm -hmm. What are your spending limits? Yes. And what is your idea of fun? You have to be able to define that. And we have to be on the same page. Because like, we're going to go have fun. Right. What? What's fun? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Some, something else I will say, consider, uh, if you're going to do any trip, outside of the U.S., and this even includes going into Puerto Rico as well, make sure your banking account and your cell phone is, is set yeah, up. for you for, to do for, international for, travel. Yes. The, second, uh, the second thing to look into is um, take short, term, short trips with these people before you decide to do a long trip with these people because you can kind of fill out if this is something you right. want to do. Uh, and then just understanding the difference between your travel friends and your friends. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Erica on the line. Erica. Yes. How are you doing today? Hello. Hi, Erica. Yes. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. All right. Share your experience you? with us. Doing great. Um, well, so it was a college trip actually mm -mm. for, um, Spring break. That's starting off bad Miami. already. Yeah, oh See, yeah. Miami does already. it to you. <laughs> Miami gets people excited. It's the state of Florida. Go ahead, Erica. <laughs> okay, so we were coming from Bloomington, Indiana to um, Miami, and this is a road trip, not even flying. A whole <laughs> 21 hours it took us to get there. What kind of car were you all in? It was a Ford um, Focus. And that shit was pretty nice. It was in two, two it was a Nissan. Okay. Kind of like a medium-sized Nissan. Okay, awesome. Um, okay. <laughs> but I have to rewind. So prior to the trip, we were paying for our uh, housing there. And so, so I'm short. telling my friends, I'm just like, this, this don't sound right. I don't know about this. But I put my money in anyway, $100 per person for the deposit. And when we get down there, we're looking for our place. We go in to um, check in, and they're just like, we don't have a reservation for you all. Wow. And we're just like, wait a minute. This this has to be a mistake. This is, can't be right. So um, they look in the books. They double check, and they're just like, no, you don't have anything. So at that point, we knew it was a scam. My so, uncle got your money. <laughs> somebody got the money, <laughs> and it wasn't, wasn't who we thought it was. Wow. Yeah, so we were down there. Uh, we went from, like, three different hotels uh, while we were down there. And I'm, like, calling my mom back, asking for money. It was, like, pretty crazy. Wow. It was crazy. Yeah, and then on top of that, um, I got into a huge argument with one of the girls on the trip. That's the way it's and supposed to work out. It was money thrown. It was, it was crazy. Wow. It was a crazy trip. Here's the question. And were the police was... called? If the police were <laughs> not that? called, it was not good enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Pretty bad. Overall, it was fun to be in Miami, but um, made the best out of it. It was definitely a trip gone bad. Erica, tell the <laughs> truth. Now you know for a fact there was no showering going on those first two days. That is not fun. <laughs> no, no, we actually did. I mean, it took us a while because we actually were shopping around for hotels. <laughs> we're just like, we don't want to pay a thousand a night for a hotel. 
But um, but yeah, we we had a hotel the first night, and then the second night we went to a different hotel, and I think we ended up staying at the third hotel for the last couple of days we were there. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for calling, Erica. Yep. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for listening. That's how you need that scoop scoop. Yeah, man. Just throw your bags on. That is horrible. <laughs> but I mean, you know what? Actually, as you get older, it, you look back over your youthful days. You're like, wow, that man, was some fun. Some of the things <laughs> I would do, would and would but not do. But you cannot pay me to do it today. Exactly. <laughs> now, that is Definitely. true. That I is slept true. on a freezer one time. Long story. All right. So, Jeanette. <laughs> a freezer? Don't worry about it. Let's go into your business. <laughs> the hangover. You've got travel tips wow. for Sober us. Sober hangover. Sober hangover. <laughs> You got travel tips for us. Let's get into them. You know what? Today I wanted to talk about passports. And I actually, um, I'm so excited about you all and uh, your new dig. So oh. I brought gifts. I brought gifts. That's what's up. Oh, I'm a, do we open it? Yes, later? you open it. You I should have got mine first, but it's okay. No, uh, ladies first. Remember that? Uh, oh, I get the blue? That's what's up. Get it back. All right. All right. Oh. I need this too. Did you did, did you hear my passport I horror story? I, uh, I lost mine. We gotta go into uh, your travel. Trips. I'm letting her. <laughs> I'm letting her go there. He horror, has to get a. Tra- he has to get a passport. I know, he does. He's a hater amongst us. I'm just saying. It's okay. It's on, it's on its way. I love this. I thought you would. passport tips, please. So there is a statistic. There's something else in the bag too. There is a uh, statistic that over 300,000 passports are lost or stolen in a year. So we really want to, you got to open it. I'm, I'm yeah, opening. You got to, yeah, make sure you open it. Let me finish. Um, so you really want to make sure, <laughs> you want to make sure that you are safeguarding. <laughs> <laughs> I will wear this to yeah. yes. I will wear this to your funeral. Go yes. ahead. Finish. Yes. One eight hundred I'm petty. Yes. I, I accept this. Go ahead. Well, now you have a petty shirt. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. Make sure. We're so distracted. It's, I today. know. Nothing but turtles, but it's okay. We want to make sure that you're safeguarding your passports. It's really, really important. So I know Crystal has a uh, story about that. I, just, but I lost it. It was just gone. Like I knew where it was and it was not there. Yeah. So the rushing experience, uh, having to pay those extra fees, exactly. having to make that appointment and stand in those lines, it's not fun, guys. Yeah, I want to make sure that you uh, definitely have uh, time to make sure you get it done. Because passports is really important. Uh, for me, passports is just that gateway to experiences. You want to, if you can, definitely want to make sure you travel outside of your surroundings as much as possible possible and just experience new things. So having that passport um, is very, very important. We noticed $110 for 16 and above and $80 for 15 and under, um, plus that $60 expedited. I was going to say there's that, and then there's that extra fee. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you uh, take care of that passport. Of course, they're good for 10 years. And I did that for my daughter. I went ahead and got her passport for her um, before she was uh, 18 and made sure that that's your first one. You get your first one for free. Mm -hmm. You are responsible for your renewal. For anything after. My daughter has hers, and uh, she took her first international trip with me Mm -hmm. for my first international trip. Now she thinks she's entitled to (laughs) traveling abroad all the time. She's not. I did the same thing to mine. We went to Belize. I I was good and grown. You know what I mean? So it's like when I decide to go a second time, then it's like, well, what about me? What about you? You get one trip. (laughs) That's your fault. One trip. (laughs) Right. One experience. What else? What else? What else Tank, can can you let her just yeah. she's doing yeah. her thing. We were I'm just saying we we, we don't have much <laughs> Go time. Ahead. So. Go ahead. So what I want to offer to the listeners and the tips viewers the lot. today um, <laughs> is a free link for the listeners. Um, no matter where you are, you can sign up for this account. It is free and it saves you on your travel up to eighty five to ninety percent of the time what? over the other guys. Now when you think about the other guys, uh, there's one person that owns about eighteen travel sites and seven of them we know very well. So I want to offer you, go to um, wantmoretravel.com, and you're going to sign up for a free site. It's going it's called the Vortex, and it lets you go ahead and um, get discounts on your hotel, cruises, cars, flights, and weekly stays. Also, um, those international destinations as well. So one of the examples for a weekly stay was the Dominican Republic for less than 700 a week. 
And that is the, the entire week. That's not per person, but that is for that particular room. So you definitely want to go ahead and go to wantmoretravel.com and sign up for that free link. So you said that was for the room itself. So then the two individuals who just have to worry about airfare and airfare they'd split that themselves. 700. They could. Yeah. Uh, among themselves or add a quad. You know, you <laughs> yes. could just go you ahead could. and cut that do down four. some more. You That's awesome. Could. That's awesome. So that Absolutely. is on our Facebook uh, page for individuals who are following following us yeah most definitely um we want to thank johnette for coming out man and we gotta we'll, well she'll be coming back next month uh you'll be speaking on one what we'll see okay well thank <laughs> you um with that being said we want to thank you all for tuning in don't forget to check us out next tuesday i raise radio crystal land just damien uh our goal is always to bring you one level higher one step closer to becoming the better you all right all right off.